Yo, 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 guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Marijuana SA Weekly. And today we have a really cool uh, interview lined up. We've got Mike from Kaya Farms, and he's going to be giving us a little bit of insight on a product that you guys may have seen uh, in the past. It's a uh, Yadam wetting agent, and he's going to basically come in. He's going to tell us a little bit about it, how to use it, and where it's useful. Some of you guys at home may be already using it. And this might be a good opportunity for you guys to find some uh, extra answers. And also, if you have any questions, we'll be happily, happy to answer some of them in the, in the comment section below. And of course, uh, just as usual, just make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, how's it going, Dean? <laughs> What's up, everyone? Really excited to chat about this week's product and bring Mike in again. Uh, he's really knowledgeable, so we won't delve too, in, too deep into it now. But it's something, you know, that's really... Uh, you can, has a broad range of uses and this is a product which I think I should be in every gardener's uh, arsenal and uh, not just you know us in the in the cannabis space so I'm really looking mm. forward to yeah finding out more about this product from the man himself oh well, yeah if you guys like this product there will be a, a link below um, if it's not working straight after the release of this video it's probably because it's been uh, moving out of stock very quickly uh, so we are, yeah, if it's, if it's unavailable, it's just out of stock at the moment. Um, and give it a day or two, it'll be back in stock. It's, it's quite a rare product at the moment, uh, and there's quite a high demand for it. So yeah, but anyway, without further ado, I shall uh, get Mike in here. Hey Mike, welcome to our episode how's it, how's it? on SA. Thanks so much for joining us. And we're going to just jump straight in and ask you um what is wetting agent and sort of where did it come from okay let's go so the jadam wetting agent the, being the full name comes is derived from the jadam natural farming uh, teachings uh, which can be found online uh, they've written a, a great book about it there's tons of amazing resources and recipe in that book that just apply to natural farming well it's, it's really fantastic. And the Jadam natural uh, wetting agent is uh, derived from their teachings. And it is basically um, a soap. Uh, most people would know it as an insecticidal soap, insecticidal soap. Um, and, and it is what it is designed and used for in their teaching is to combat pests and improve the efficiency of your of your sprays, of your foliar application, whether it's for feeding or for, for IPM, for pest control. Um, so it is, it is a, a, an extremely low cost way to control uh, insects. And, and it, is, it is a soap, so it can also be used around the house to clean, to wash hands, to wash dishes. Um, it's really simple and it's uh, environmental friendly as well, more than your average soap that you would buy in, in shops. Um, it's considered a soft soap. You've got soft soap and hard soap. Um, you know, hard soap are petroleum-based or derived, where soft soap are made through the chemical reaction of uh, lye, like potassium hydroxide, and, mm -hmm. and, um, and oil, so vegetable fat, if you want. Well, Sounds yeah. like a, a very underrated soap. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely, yes. And it's been used. It's been used for, for a long, long time. I mean, the first... A pesticide that was registered um, with, uh, with with potassium salt of fatty acid, which is what it is, the Jadam wetting agent, uh, was registered in 1947. So it's mm. been it's been around for a long time. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, Mike, in the in the sense of sort of most of our viewers, which are our home gardeners, uh, what is kind of the direct application of the of the product i think we have some cool images related to this as uh, as well um it's got two main up. functions right did you catch the the question there uh, i think i missed the end the application for for the garden yeah yeah yes, home application exactly. for for most of our yeah exactly listeners. so so like we did like we discussed it's 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 extremely efficient against against insects soft-bodied insects particularly um, and as you can see on the picture, so on the picture on the left hand side, you've got a, a leaf uh, with aphids on it um, before treatment and after it, you've got a treatment of Jadam wetting agent, which I think was five milliliter per liters. Uh, the recommendation varies between uh, five to 30, I think. Um, so it's on the lower end. 
and we so you spray you spray your insect and what happens the potassium salt of fatty acid will um, will enter the the insect and disrupt the the cell membrane and it will start to leak its content if you want and the the, the insect will start to dehydrate pretty much. it's a it's a it's not a fun death um, <laughs> <laughs> so Not bad for those efforts for a second. <laughs> yes, definitely. For well, one second, yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 very, very short second, though, very short. Um, oh, so so yeah, curious, it, I thought for a second yeah. maybe it would be a um, because just uh, I want to pull up a, another picky that you that you've got here. Uh, I know I'm struggling to to get that other picture but i thought it would be because it's a soap sort of thing i thought that the ins the pesticidal component the insecticidal component would be because of like a layer that's caused um as opposed to a like actually a, a, po a poison in a sense yeah so the 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 soap does um a coat them and it can help suffocate them in a way if you want but yeah the main the main uh, mode of action is going to be is going to be the potassium salt of fatty the fatty acid pretty much penetrating the the skin and and mm. disrupting really the cell function with, think, uh, yeah because i was looking at i think you can i don't know what screen you guys are seeing um hopefully it's the the leaves here but yeah i was looking yeah. at this and thinking like that must be a uh i don't know it, yeah tell, maybe just tell us a little bit about this like this layer okay that so yeah comes on the on the leaves exactly so that's another another interesting uh ability of the wetting agent is is it, it like any soap pretty much it breaks the surface tension of water so if anyone has ever taken a glass of water and filled it to the brim you can see you can actually fill it more than the actual brim for a moment the water forms a bit of a dome on top of your glass and if you touch it it, it, it runs off mm, yes. um so what you can do is an experiment if you do that and you take your glass and then you put a bit of soap on your finger and you go and touch the center of the glass so you're not really oh, yeah. breaking on the edge or anything you're just touching the center the soap in your finger is going to break that surface tension and the water is going to is going to flow so it, it basically prevents the water from from conglomerating into into drops if you want so it really just allows it to spread evenly and completely and the advantage with that is obviously we do a lot of foliar feeding or foliar application of you know uh, uh, biologicals or etc and the problem you will have on the left hand side, which is a leaf that has been sprayed with plain water with no surfactant, is that you've, you have droplets. So now let's assume you've you've added some form of, uh, of nutrient or, or something in your water. All those nutrients are going to be concentrated in that droplet, but none of it is going to be uh, between each droplet. And as the droplet dries, you're going to have higher concentration in that droplet. And eventually you end up with hot spots on your leaf of, of high concentration of microbes or nutrients in one spot. Um, and it can leave like white markings on your leaf, depending on what you're mm -hmm. spraying. Whereas if you break the surface tension of water and prevent it from forming droplets and, and accumulating like this, it will just form a, a film on top of your leaf um, and, and spread everything properly and as it dries out it's going to dry out evenly as well amazing so everything's far more uh, far more effective a lot of people watching this are going to have the uh, the same question in mind uh it being sort of uh, uh biodegradable how, how when is the what sort of what is the latest you'd recommend spraying with the product and how long does it take to break down completely So the the um, the half life of, of potassium salt of fatty acid is one day, meaning in the soil. So meaning that after one day, fifty percent of what you've sprayed or what is in the soil is already broken down. So after five days, ninety-seven percent of it is broken down. So it's quite rapid. Um, obviously, this is a product that is not designed to be used in the soil. Um, yes. So I wouldn't, and it's written on the bottle. I wouldn't recommend it using it as a surfactant to, to water your soil. Um, but it breaks down quite rapidly, and and again, it breaks down into potassium, so the the plant can eventually uptake it 
or um, or in the soil it just goes back into the nutrient cycle recommend spraying uh, anything past week three four once you start to see pistols um but I, i've tried it and i've sprayed as far as week six and and i couldn't see a, a, an issue uh, obviously i wouldn't recommend it but if it's yes. your only alternative you know um it's a good but, one <laughs> but you 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 wouldn't like the the biggest yeah yeah yeah, yeah it, it would be fine it would be fine and uh you, can you overdo it? I don't think you really can overdo it with the with the product, right? I mean, the the range is five to thirty moles, but it's not, you know, you don't, it's it's a powerful product. You don't really need to use a lot of it, uh, right? Yeah, I've never had to use such a high dosage. Thirty mils is 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 a lot. Um, it can be phytotoxic to some plants, so that's always something to with any product that you're using before spraying your whole crop. You should always try and spray a small area and see if it's compatible. Um, but for this, for this instance, uh, I wouldn't spray a wedding agent on peas or um, or any plant that has a bit of a wax plant isn't um, always that happy. If, you, if you're if worried about compatibility, you can just do a test on a small leaf or a small patch and wait a few days. If you start seeing a bit of brown spot or any any bad reaction, you know. Okay, this plant is not compatible with this, but it's very a very few plants that are not compatible with the wetting agent. Oh, awesome. Obviously, thinking, cannabis is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I was thinking. Um, obviously, it's like a, it's a very powerful thing for the home uh, home growers uh, and like hobby gardeners and this and that. But is there any sort of commercial? Um, application of something like this of the waiting age. I would imagine I mean it's 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 a very when you think about it it's a very simple product and and if you look on the on the bottle you'll find at the bottom we we give the recipe on the website so please feel free to go and visit the website or simply go and research it on natural farming and find the recipe and try it at home um, but it, it's a very simple product. It's a soap, so I would imagine, yeah, it, it would have great uh, application. And, and in the agricultural sector already, it's it's been registered. Many products have been registered um, with potassium salt of fatty acid, and they found insecticidal, fungicidal properties. I mean, it's it's uh, it's got a wide range of application. Um, and I've just got a bottle just to show. So this is a, a bottle of water. And I've already added some wetting agent in it, and you can see it doesn't change the color. It doesn't doesn't make it murky. It's um, it mm. just remains water. But now, as yeah. soon as you shake it, boom! It explodes into a oh, massive cool. layer of foam. Um, so it it really foams up properly, and you'll see the the water will come back to a, a clean color. It's just some bubbles in there. Um, so yeah, it, it really is a, a a strong soap, and it's a small mm. amount in there. It's really nice to uh, um, to see it. I was just thinking of that time me and Dean drank some biovis on on YouTube back when we were young. That looks much more uh, palatable. <laughs> yes, and the, and again the 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 mammalian toxicity has been studied and observed, and it's very low. Um, I mean, fatty acid is is something we ingest, like mammals eat daily. So and and again they've tested it, and it's not it's not harmful. Um, yeah. It's awesome, a pretty Mike. safe product. It's great. Thanks so much for, for coming on and giving us a little bit of insights on it. Uh, guys, you can always find Mike um, at uh, Kaya Farms and uh, also on Instagram. Uh, we will link below as well. And he's also happy to answer, uh, answer any other questions. There. You can DM him directly. And then also uh, we also have a link to the product below this video as well. But Mike, thanks so much for joining. And yeah, we'll probably be seeing you again in the future for another, another debrief on a product. Awesome, it's a pleasure. Oh, cheers, eh? Awesome product, like I was saying, and yeah, I think it's I think it's usable across the board. It just sounds like something just sound, it sounds too good to be true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I was thinking like the whole time I'm like, this is a soap. It's like it's incredibly underrated uh for what it is. And what's really cool is like you can make your own sort of thing. I know you touched on it a little bit before, but I mean, any product that's that, it's 
what appeals i think it appeals to us what's like that sustainability part of it the eco part yeah. of it the, the natural part of it and it's effective yeah and i think on the natural commercial front you know if you're if you're on if you're farming and you're able to create one of a f your fundamental components of your ipm regime yourself and it's cost effective it kind of does seem heavily scalable and you know just from using it personal on a small scale i went from learning about it to using it to now like constantly having a bottle around because it's something that i utilize anytime any kind of spray action is going down and it's mm. uh, you know if we, it's, mike's done a lot of testing there's a lot of white paper about it and from my own personal experience it is a highly effective product and it's affordable it's like i think it goes for like between one about 150 rand a, a, a liter bottle you know yeah. which is <laughs> and not it's like, bad it's, at it's all gonna, i was gonna ask how long it lasts but you know you're talking about like five I, mils per like liter or something it's gonna last forever and I that's the it, maximum are, dosage I, I, i've bought i've bought two bottles in like a year i think so it's really yeah. not uh, yeah. it's really not something you use a lot of brilliant all right guys thanks so much for for joining uh, another episode of marijuana essay weekly uh i hope you guys all enjoyed it please leave some comments of anything that you would like us to uh talk about or any uh, gardening tips that you you want to learn about that's what we do that's our thing we do uh, grow systems we do uh, a bunch of imports uh, we're basically everything gardening related and obviously growing bud related uh but youtube doesn't like that so much but anyway hope you guys have a great weekend and oh next week we actually have a we are having an interview with uh, myrtle clock about some of the latest regulations and then we have some uh, seed companies dutch passion coming up so if you like any of those um uh, make sure to subscribe so you get uh, the notifications when those comes out till next week guys Peace. Peace.